This man needs to start tomorrow night. Danilo needs to be starting over Serial Dessers and Sam Lammers. Well, anybody can really start over him. McCausland and even take Scott Wright. That's when you know things are desperate here at Rangers, when I'm willing to actually start Scott Wright in a game of football. But anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your Dundee versus Rangers match preview. And let's see what you guys said in your prediction. So there was 544 votes. Cutting it a wee bit short here, um, usually I would let it last a bit longer, but here, why not upload a preview a wee bit early here, give you some Tuesday afternoon fun, eh? Dundee getting 9% here, a draw getting 16%, and as you can clearly see, the numbers don't add up, because 9 plus 6 is 15, and add 15 to 86, you get 101%, YouTube again, um, messing with it, but yeah, you guys think Rangers is going to win, and uh, you know, uh, about, you know, a, a 10 for you, 54 of you is thinking that uh, Rangers are going to lose to Dundee. And Dundee are in good form, make no mistake about it. And I think it just, I think it generally depends on our starting 11. I, I, I do think that. I think if Sam Lammers and Serial Deaths will start this game, we, we, we are humped going forward. That is the reality. And, you know, Big Phil, he's won two games against the Embra clubs, he got a good draw in Prague. Brilliant start, really, we think of it, and we've closed the gap in the league. But we can't keep playing these two players, and I know he's just in the door, but why? I, I, you're literally just throwing pressure on your shoulders immediately by starting these two, because there's not one Rangers fan out there that actually wants Dessers and Lammers to start. And I'm not saying, here, yeah, that's not me. When I say pressure's on his shoulders, I'm not saying if we drop points against Dundee, Big Phil should get the sack, but, you know... We all see it coming with Dessers and Lammers. We're doing the nine men. That's how fucking bad it is. Honestly, but anyway, let's move into your comments and then I'll give my predictions. And of course, we did have that controversial game against Hart. Brother beating, dishing out penalties to Rangers like it was going out of fashion. But it was, it was lovely nonetheless. Uh, into your comments, so Declan Riley says, I'm going to say Rangers win 5-0. Tavin here, Danilo will score 2-2. Two, two. Seema will score a hat-trick. Um... Those numbers don't even add up. Because if Tavadier scores and Danilo scores two and Seema gets a hat trick, that's six. But he says 56 is coming. I believe him. Um, Mr. Bassman says, A team is due a right doing by us under the new gaffer. 6 0. Danilo hat trick. Dessers and Lammers nowhere to be seen. Yeah, one can only hope that Dessers and Lammers will be nowhere to be seen. But I wouldn't bet my top rocker on it. Uh, Boss G says, should be a comfortable Rangers win. Not that you can say that anymore, but it will be unless the mighty Scott Tiffany is playing. Well, you know, I, I rate Scott Tiffany. I, I, and, like, I, I actually do rate him. And I think how bad we are with, like, Lammers playing off the right and Dessers up front. Scott Tiffany would walk into that Rangers fucking right wing position over Lammers. And I think that just sums up the sort of situation that we've got there. Um, Russell Moore says, 2-0 if Lammers and Dessers ain't in the squad. Well, I think we need to accept they'll be in the squad, but will they be in the starting 11? Uh, hopefully not. Crafter says, 3-0 Rangers. Wallace says, 2-0 Rangers. Robert Fortin, I wonder if he's the darts player. Uh, he says, 5-0 Terry Bear. Stuart Elliott says, 2-0 Rangers. Beaten to score first. Beating our Walsh scoring for Rangers can't be far away. Walsh has more appearances I brought the last three years than some Rangers players. Exactly. The referees are in our pockets. It's finally out. The cat is out the bag. Brother beating, dishing out penalties. Like, like, like fucking hot cakes, man. And I'm all for it here. He's, you know what? The referees, the SFA, are going to carry us to Title 56. And there's not a thing that the wee tin pot club at the other side of Glasgow is going to do about it because the world's against them. And now it's out in the open. But there, nothing can be done because the referees are unstoppable. They're all Rangers fans. And what are Celtic going to do? They can't do anything but cry about it. I, you, I, you know what? I kind of feel for them, but I kind of don't because the world is totally and totally against them. But anyway, my prediction for this game. Let's get stuck straight into it. With my starting 11, I think he will. I mean, I think, I don't think, I know he's going Jack Butland unless Jack Butland picks up a miraculous injury between now and the game. So it's going to go Butland. It's going to be Yelmas. It's going to be Davis. It's going to be Goldson. It's going to be the main man, Tavernier. Um, midfield, Raskin, of course, is out. I think probably going to force the hand. He's probably going to have to play with Ryan Jack. We're going to see a Ryan Jack and John Lonster in midfield. And in front of them, I think, I think we're going to see 
Todd Cantwell in the 10, hopefully. Seema off the left. Scott Wright on the right. And then we're going to see Danilo up front. One can only pray. One can only pray for that sort of team. Um, and, uh, you know, dark days when I am sitting here saying that we can only pray that Scott Wright gets included over our multi-million pound signings in the summer. That's when you know Michael Beal had a shiter. But anyway, troops, that is it for this video. We'll be back very soon with more content. And until then, peace. Actually, 2 0 Rangers. Forgot to say that. Danilo, they get two. Hopefully, he just doesn't mess his face up with a header this time. <laughs> Come on, Danilo, son.